Hi students and welcome to part two of information regarding your online course. So we have looked already at things about your online course and how to log in and how to move around the course. Now we're going to go through some information for you um, when you first start the course and how you can get help in the course. Okay. So one thing I wanted to let you know is that your teacher is assigned to you, not to the class. So this is a little bit different than um, in some other schools where a teacher might teach every student in the class. In, in our school, the teacher is assigned to you. So when you start the course, we contact our teachers and we assign a teacher directly right to you. So that is your teacher. So because we um, we get a teacher for you once you sign up, um, it may take a few days for the teacher to start, okay? But what you can do while you are waiting for your teacher, there are many things you can do, okay? This will not make it slower for you. You can read everything at the beginning of your course, okay? There are a lot of things to read. You can find where everything is in the course and how to use everything. And you can start lesson one and you can keep going. Okay, there are many things you can do at the beginning before, before your teacher comes. You can ask the principal if you need any help while you are waiting. So how can you get high marks in your course? Here are some ideas. When you start the course, you decide how much to do each week. It is good if you set a goal for yourself. So for example, you can decide how many hours to work each week. So for example, I will work five hours each week, or 10 hours each week and make sure that you do that, okay? You can also decide how many lessons you want to finish each week. That will help you finish the course on time, whatever time you need to finish the course. So the course is 110 hours, okay? That is how long it takes for most students to finish. You might work faster or you might work slower, okay? It depends, but most the course is 110 hours of work. So if you know you have five months to finish, that you need to finish the course, five months is 20 weeks, that means that you should spend about five 0.5 hours each week or five and a half hours each week okay if you if you plan that at the beginning it will be easier for you to finish on time or if you want to finish the course in three months okay three months is 12 weeks that means you should you should work nine or ten hours each week to finish the course in three months so you might have one of these times that you need to finish the course, or you might have a different time, okay? But you can, this is just showing you how you can figure that out so that you, you don't leave everything until the end and try have to work very, very fast. Okay, something else you can do to get high marks, do the lessons in order. They are in order on the screen. So if you do it and you jump around, you're going to miss things, okay? So do everything in order, okay? Don't jump around. Hand in everything. So keep track. You make sure that you hand in everything that you need to hand in, okay? Um, that is very, very, very important. And hand in work when you finish it, okay? Um, when you hand in work, your teacher will mark it and you will see how you are doing. You will see if you are getting 
the kind of mark you want to get. And if you are not, then there's time to fix it, okay? There's time to talk to your teacher and learn what you have to do. But if you hand in everything at once, and there isn't there's something you're not doing right, or maybe you're not getting the kind of mark you want to get, okay, it's harder to fix it because you have to do a lot of work. You might have to do a lot of work again, okay? Or we might have to fix a big problem. So hand in work as you, as you finish it. Okay, look at what your teacher says about your marked work. Your teacher is going to tell you what you can do to improve, to get a higher mark. Okay, so look at that, ask your teacher questions, okay, um, and let your teacher know or ask, what can I do to do better? Okay, so look at what your teacher says about how you can do better. Your teacher will also tell you in the discussions how you can improve. So that's another way that you can do better. Okay, ask for help. Okay, so ask your one thing you can do is ask your teacher to look at your work before you hand it in to be marked. So your teacher can look at something and say, okay, you know what, you need to you know, try to fix, improve this area here, do this here, maybe fix this here. And then, then you can fix it the way your teacher says, and you can hand it in and then have it marked. So that's one, another way you can do better. Okay, talk to your teacher if you're not happy about your mark to see what you can do to do better, okay? There are many things that we can do, but it's important that you, you talk and you tell your teacher if you're not happy. Okay, how can you get help at Toronto eSchool? So you can get help if you have trouble logging in, um, if you have trouble finding something in your course, if you need help how to, with how to use the course, understanding, things in the course, if you have a question about something, if you have a problem, or something isn't working properly, okay? Maybe you hand in your work and your teacher doesn't get it for some reason, okay? Those are all things that we can help you with, okay? So where can you get help, okay? You can email your teacher, you can email your principal, Okay, you can also ask your teacher for online help. If emailing is not enough and you don't understand, you can ask your teacher for more help. Like, you, we are using Zoom right now for me to talk to you. Your teacher can do that too with you. You can also get tutoring with us. We can ask, if you need more, a lot of help, we can, or we can ask your teacher to tutor you as well. Okay, so if you have any questions, please contact us. Um, you can contact your teacher or your principal. And good luck in your course. Take care. Bye.